the founders of black social Christianity were distinct and marginalized in their interactions with the white social gospel movement and within African American Christianity. But the founders' long two-sided struggle for legitimacy and recognition kept them from being remembered after they were gone. Simmons, Ransom, Wells Barnett, Burroughs, Walters, Woodby, Johnson, and Wright would not have been forgotten had scholars and journalists paid attention to the black social gospel. Henry McNeil Turner and William Simmons were pioneers of black social Christianity bridging the Civil War and progressive generations in different ways, clearing a path for the social gospel. Simmons had a similar generational experience, although he died young, and his modernism was stronger. Like Turner, Simmons worked hard for radical reconstruction. He treasured the abolitionists, and like them, he conceived the God of the Bible as a partisan, liberating friend of the poor and oppressed. As a journalist, author, educator, and minister, Simmons kept alive the witness and lore of David Walker, Sojourner Truth, Nat Turner, Henry Highland Garnet, Frederick Douglass, and other abolitionists. He stood up for the rights and empowerment of, of women, insisting that feminism had an important role to play in the new abolition. He mediated the debate among black Baptists over assimilation versus separatism, taking a middling position that did not prevail in the National Baptist Convention. He also mediated, before Du Bois came along, an intense debate among black Baptists about the priority of higher education. 